Inspire family. It's your host, Desmond Davis, and I'm so excited that y'all are hanging out with us at the second annual Mental Health and Wellness Fair brought to you by University Preparatory Charter School for Young Men right here in Rochester, New York, 1290 Lake Avenue. So y'all, we have somebody really special for you. We are here with the CEO of the University Prep Charter School, aka UPrep. We are here with the one and only Mr. Walter Larkin. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me on. This is awesome. Awesome oh, time. Sir, it's so good to have you. It's so good to have you. So so this is the second year that we've done this here, um, here at UPrep. And kind of we get the whole point of this is to get resources out and you know kind of celebrate the summer and stuff but i gather kind of being new here that there are kind of some more deeper meanings in terms of how this relates to the community of rochester but but really what do you kind of get from it so for me my take on it is that you know we can't educate um students unless they're whole yeah. and our community so the, i think the big thing for me is that our young men in our community have resources and access um, to other things that people that may live in the suburbs and surrounding communities have and that they're just aware of it. So we know that trauma is around all of us in the city of Rochester. And I think if we help, you know, move that agenda, we'll let people understand that taking care of your mental health is just as important as taking care of your physical health and your financial health um, is, is deep for me. Because mm -hmm. um, a lot of our young men, you know, day to day, they go through a lot of things. And I feel like if they deal with their mental health, academics becomes very easy athletics becomes very easy their social emotional health becomes even easier so i think this is very important and that's probably just for our young men but for the community you just think about i'm looking around at all the people that's come in through the through the doors today receiving fresh fruit receiving healthy advice receiving tickets to the step jam but also stopping by u of our table rochester regional health breathe deep i'm just looking at all these great resources we have here which is excellent for our community about keeping them healthy and also helping them deal with anything they may be going through right now. Wow. Wow. So what I'm gathering is that there's layers kind of to yes. it. It's not, we're calling it a mental health fair, but it's mental health and wellness. And there's multiple layers to wellness. You mentioned, right, not just your mental health, but your physical health, yes. your emotional health, your spiritual health, your financial yes. health, right? And how finances can play a, play a role in that. Yes. And it seems like you're naming all of these things kind of, really from an experience of just working in those areas. And so you've been kind of really entrenched deep roots within the heart of Rochester. So I would love if you'd be willing to maybe tell the people a little bit about yourself and kind of your story here with just education in Rochester. So I was born and raised in Rochester, um, proudly Edison Tech graduate for many years ago. I'm not going to say the year, um, <laughs> but I've been in education. Uh, this is year 26, finishing up year 26. And over the years, I've held many positions, um, counselor, um, dean, assistant principal, principal executive director, um, till I came here as the CEO of UPrep. Um, and I also coached track and field for many years. And I've held a lot of positions, but I think the most important thing, regardless of what the title is, is not important to me, is the mentorship and us trying to raise young men and women to be successful and understand the resource and access that they have here in the city of Rochester and outside of Rochester. Because I'm a big encourager. If you can leave, leave, but always come back and support your community. Go out and grow, learn, but then come back, you know, and give to your community. So um, I've always, I would say I always want to be in education somewhere in that realm or that field of it, or more so just the service field, because I think that's important that we must give back. Um, you know, grew up in the church, too, to whom much is given, much is required. So, Amen. Um, you know, we all, nobody's perfect. Me coming out here, I enjoy myself. I walked into some good music. Yep. I got some good, some good fresh fruit. You know, I had a good mm -hmm. breakfast. It made my mental better. I feel great. You mm -hmm. know, so it's like if, if I'm feeling good, it could be for everybody else. You know, That's so fact. definitely, definitely. That's really good. So then with with all of that and 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 kind of your vast experience and, and your desire to want to just continue to give to the city that raised you, that that formed and, and shaped you. Why you prep? Why you prep? because I am, a, I am a man of color, right? And we know over these last 26 years, we've seen our young men go through a lot of issues in the city of Rochester. So to have an opportunity for myself to oversee a program, which is serving predominantly young men of color from grades six through 12, but also 
having about 60% of the staff being men of color to lead by example is like, it's like a dream job of mine. Um, anybody that knows me knows that mentoring is the most important thing to me, not just mentoring students, but also mentoring other staff. That's something I just love to do because, you know, my time is winding up in education. Mm -hmm. um, so just making sure that the next generation of leaders and teachers and counselors and social workers and mental health therapists are set up, have the support they need to continue this very serious and important work. I love that. I love that. And so I, I appreciate that what I'm hearing consistently is is not about you, but you're finding ways to insert yourself into discussions, insert yourself into work so that you can provide for the next generation. Absolutely. And it's, and it's joy in that. I don't think people realize, you know, if you're feeling down or some things going wrong, go out and help somebody, go out and volunteer. You'll realize some of the things you're going through aren't as bad as you think, right? And then you help somebody else. It makes you feel good. It's almost like, um, it's a positive high, you know, we don't want to, we don't condone drugs and alcohol, but you want a positive high, go out and do something for someone and not expect nothing in return and watch how you feel at the end of that day. I love that. I love that. And, and you're right because it speaks to even the vendors that we have and the folk yeah. who are coming in, right? We're, they're here to service the community. They're here to provide resources. They're here to make connections and they're here for the Rochester community. And I think that's so powerful because there's really nothing being asked of. And so, I just want to say thank you so much for your time, sir. And is there any closing thoughts you have? I just hope more people come out and enjoy these festivities. Come and find out what we're offering as far as mental health, physical, spiritual, financial health. It's a lot of free resources. And if you look behind me, you'll see it's a lot of people of color that's out here with a lot of variety of careers, backgrounds that's here willing to help the community and students. So come on out and be a part of it. My man. Thank you, sir. My guy. Appreciate you. Appreciate you.